Hello and welcome back to the Shadow Arts Let's Play with me SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we trudged all the way up the tower in the, the Blue Castle, and we managed to find Yuri there. But we got into a fight with him. We supposedly won, and Alice is now woken up in the graveyard in Yuri's mind. So I think, without further ado, let's try and see what happens. One interesting, nice, interesting little fact: how barren this entire land mourns and suffers. Is that if you read these taste signs, the seal of earth is carved here. Faint hope for tomorrow remains within the conscious living of the seal. We can also see which stones he's we've managed to up via the fighting that we've done. Um, the seal of water is carved here. A faint spirit of repentance remains. All of these, basically, if you read this with Yuri, um, there's always negative things like the death of la 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 or like the anger that spares. Um, but with Alice, it's all. It's all positive, which I think is a nice little character now. Anyway, uh, I can feel his despair. So many tears, so much loneliness. This must be... We'll see. Let's go read these. So, the seal of light is carved here. The spirit of a mother's warmth faintly remains within the conscious living in the seal. It's very interesting, isn't it? And then here, the seal of wind is carved. A faint trust in one's companions remains within the conscious living of the seal. Very, very fun. Then what do we have here? We have the seal of darkness. A longing for one's father remains within the conscious living in the seal. How very, very, very apt. Let's make a way and talk to the masks. What do we have here? Well, you're a beautiful little girl. Hmm. Oh, I would thought you'd come all this way to the mind, to the mind's darkness. You wish to sacrifice your body, your heart, and your very life over to the lad? Who are you? My, mm, you're not frightened by us. My, my, you're brave for a little girl. We are the unconscious inside the boy. People call us for fear, envy, anger, and hate. Yes, yes, the boy is soul. He you're searching for is seeking death and preparing for it. I can't remember which voices I did, they're gonna go wrong. Seeking death? Yeah, yes, yes, a retreating of the memories of his childhood. He earnestly seeks the escape from death, a place of no suffering where no one can hurt him. Oh, so, so cute. Those who come here to find peace. One can join the consciousness of their dead mother or father. No need to continue his life's hard struggles. The lad is mistaken. Running isn't a bad thing. After all, each person cares about themselves the most. What's the matter? Your expression, are you upset? Yuri, I won't let Yuri die. Well, what a silly thing to say. Would you do like a poor soul that's finally about to find tranquility back to the burdens of this life? My, my, you're an interesting girl, may I ask, to this soul that was unable to obtain his father's protection or his mother's affection. What exactly do you have to offer? I... I don't know. The freedom of death, a resting place for a soul. Are you saying that there is something more this lad desires? I don't know what I have to offer, Yuri. I just know that we get through any hardship we stay together. If we stay together. <laughs> and what do you want of the lad in return for your devotion? I want nothing in return. I just want to be with him. Oh, you make me laugh. Unconditional devotion. No such virtue exists. In second thought, there is one. The incomprehensible behavior of humans called love. But you don't. Not this soul. Just a nod. This gets more interesting by the minute to hear such a silly statement. Very well, if you're that determined, we'll open the gate of self. The lad's soul is inside. The gate of self. However, set one foot in there, and you must bear the lad's karma with him. Even so, will you go? The four mask curse is binding. In return for open gate, we will one day come for your soul. I don't care, as long as I can reach out to his soul. 
Are you willing to risk your own soul to rescue him? If so, proceed. I will watch with interest. Is there really such a thing as this love? So, the ominous gate is open. The gate is open, as if beckoning. There we go. Yuri, what are you doing? Wait, is this a grave? Stop. Stop it right now. What is this, Mommy? Oh, aren't I a good boy? I've got to help Dad any way I can. This is no garden. You're digging your own grave, don't you see? Oh, come on. Stop pulling my leg. I've got to seed the farm before winter comes. Now move aside. Hmm. Yuri. Here we go. Huh, you, what are you doing here? Who? You put Yuri under a spell, didn't you? Well, wait a second. Here, he chose to dig his own grave. Dark, guys. He failed to fuse with the seraphic radiance and it devoured his soul. Once left of his consciousness, his scream to disappear. He wants to go away before Seraphic Radiance inside of him comes out and turns the world to ashes. I'm only helping him, don't you see? You're his father. Why'd you make him suffer so? I'm not making him suffer. He's scared and he's weak. He thinks all the monsters he is fused with will devour his soul. I don't want to turn into a monster, he screams, every time he fuses. He thinks he might lose it and go on a killing spree if he keeps this up. He might even turn against his own friends. Hmm. He can't bear the dark fate of a Harmonixer. Dad, how much do I have to do? Should I keep digging? Deeper, idiot. Dig deeper. There's some laughing going on in the background there. You can tell by the jiggling faces. You could not match your father. You didn't protect your mother. You're responsible for everyone's misery. So much regret. So many lies. Poor boy. His fear attacks him like a monster. I'm the embodiment of his weakness. Yuri is not weak. There's still hope and courage left in him. He's a fighter. <laughs> Look at him. He's a weakling. Don't you see? He can't face himself. He wants to escape. That's why he keeps digging. He doesn't want to fight the Seraphic Radiance. He wants to disappear. How pathetic. Stop. You wouldn't understand. You can't believe in anything. What do you know? You cry for him? I hate that weepy crap, you know. There we go. What do you think you're doing? No, Dad, don't hit Mom. Oh, shut up, you idiot. Here we go. Oh, shut up, you idiot. Here we go. Yuri. 
keep digging. Darn it. You're turning against me. You... You're not my dad. This is too funny. Let's do it, you weakling. Yuri, don't be afraid. He's just a part of you. Accept him. Don't give up. Don't grieve. Because you're still alive. That's right. I am alive. I'm not afraid of you anymore. Yep, no problem. No matter how many times I lose or collapse or spit blood, as long as I have my life and as long as I don't give up, I can always stand up and fight again. There we go. So, something you've already known is going to happen. We have a fight, a rematch, with Mr. Foxface. And I have not got the best things here for it. Actually, Magic is probably not the best. Thing. Let's just attack and see how much we can do. Like this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna fuse. I think I'm gonna fuse into Mandragon because he's got the healing. SP lowering. Minus 24, Jesus Christ. That's fine. Yeah, because Rain Shower restores HP, so we're going to keep that, and we're just going to attack here. And then, next turn, I'm going to do the SP lowering. If we've got the items, I assume we do. Okay, this is the big, big bad move. The big, big, big bad move, right? Jesus Christ. Tira extract here. Okay. Let's just attack. Okay, okay. Attack once more with Mandragon. As there we go. Fox face is defeated. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Jesus Christ. As we get some brass knuckles as well. Very, very nice. As we finally see who the fox face really is, it's himself. Got to accept yourself, guys. That's the moral of this story. <laughs> Time no see. Yes. <laughs> I. Yes. Wasn't that stupid of me? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, making you come for me in this place. Not at all. I wanted to see you. You know that day when I fused with Seraph Gradients? For a moment I thought I'd won. I thought to myself, if I could control him, I could save Shanghai. But in reality, he bit me in the butt. Its consciousness flowed into mine, and I could feel myself losing it. 
I... I didn't know what to do. I, I was scared. Very scared. That's why you wanted to die? Because I don't... I'd much rather die than go living with a dead soul. I didn't even know the will to fight. I didn't even have the will to fight. When I caught off for help, the damn fox face showed up. For the longest time, I thought the god of death was my dad, but it was my manifestation of my weaknesses. Wordy sentences there. I was never scared of this graveyard or that fox. That fox is half of your soul. A very important half. Yeah, we're now the two halves of one. I'm not ashamed of being afraid or weak anymore. The true form. Yeah, let's travel together again. Yeah. Alice, are you alright? Hey, this kid's with you. What in the world happened? <laughs> How you been all this time, Pops? Yori, is it really to honest to goodness Yori? Yes, Susan, it really is. Now, why you take talking that tone with me? You know I was ever honest to goodness to begin with. You all adapted, nothing adapt. <laughs> So it really is you, kid. Uh, I'm not just seeing things. Joke. Oh! <laughs> you gigantic knucklehead, you. Ah, uh, come on. Don't go crying on me now, Pops. Now, come on. Stop it. You'll dry yourself out if you cry like that. Ah, uh, stop it. Don't you know I've been worried sick of what kind of trouble you might have been in? That's what I came looking for you, you ungrateful son of a bitch. <laughs> it just chokes me up. I cannot help if it is come easily in my old age. <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm chipper than as a graveyard butterfly. There's nothing to worry about anymore. You can retire from all this, Pops. Leave the rest to us. Aren't you funny? I have no intention of retiring as long as I live. And who'd want a booger picking kid like you to look after them anyway? <laughs> hmm. My goodness. It's hard to know whether these two are bos bosom buddies or sworn enemies. Which is it? Hmm. I guess you could say both. Who are you? <laughs> You're from this castle, right? I'm sorry we caused you so much trouble. Not at all. Besides, it was your intense burst of energy which finally roused me from my sleep. And with the world changed so much, in the 200 years I was asleep, I think I'm in a traveling mood. Which reminds me, you all seem to be on a special... kind of special journey yourselves. Well, kind of. Hmm, you did what I asked you to do, so I guess you're finished here. But you have piqued my interest. If you don't mind, can I join you in your travels? I promise not to get in the way. Oh, we appreciate your interest, but uh, the enemies we are fighting are no ordinary monsters. We can't possibly guarantee your safety. Listen, you'll have a lot more fun if you travel with that widow and her daughter from the village. Oh no, I certainly don't expect any guarantees. I'm insufferably tired of all the empty hours. I just want to be freed from this endless tedium of nothing to do. In that case, why don't you just, uh, Keith? <laughs> Welcome aboard, Keith. Yes, things are getting lively on our European travels too. <coughs> Bernie's getting very lively too. One second. One second, guys. I'm gonna see what's up. So where are we headed? Let's head back to Prague. Susan, Margaret might be there by now. Seems like a plan. Good idea. We can plan our next move when we get there. 
Yeah, this is exciting again. Come now. No sense in letting the grass go under our feet. Eerie slow walking. <laughs> well, the old man's really calmed down since I've been gone. He's happy. He kept me going for the last six months. Oh, I almost forgot. This is for you. I found it in Kyohai Tower. You've received a brightly and polished talisman from Alice. Let's go. Um, yeah. Oh, the shiny thing on the floor, guys. Now, annoyingly, select the party members you wish to participate in battles. Let's take Keith for now. Keith's tower, we'll take Keith. There we go, and this is okay. What's wrong? Look, it was right, but now it's really blue castle. Farewell, dear castle. Well, my ancestors, doom will begrudge me a little bit of time to travel. And if I don't return, may you vanish again into the mists of time until the new master arrives. And here we are, but first thing we've got to do is head back to the top of that tower to see where the shiny thing was. So I'll see you guys there in a second. So we are back here at the top of the tower, and you see the sparkly thing. We used to be visit. You've received the dark gravestone, which is, of course, very, very handy. And basically, these are pickups which allow us to gain the most powerful fusion of each of the elements. And if you look here at the graveyard anyway, we're ready with five of them to uh, upgrade um, to the level 2 monsters, so we're going to do that in the next episode. We'll do a little graveyard fusion monster hit up. But if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time in Shadow Hearts. Peace.